Hi, I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson. I'm an astrophysicist with the American Museum of Natural History right here in New York City. And I host Star Talk. Welcome back to Star Talk Radio. <laughs> and it's fighting all these air molecules. Like, what's up with that? We win. Astrophysicists win. Oh! Yeah, I said it. Snap! Bada bing! Whoa, 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 I'm getting it! So, Obama wants to lasso an asteroid. <laughs> uh, here's the problem. The spaceships we now have can't reach where the asteroids hang out. But he made a speech a few years ago that we're going to send astronauts, astronauts to, to asteroids. asteroids. And so, since our ships that we're building can't reach the asteroid, we're going to bring an asteroid to where the ship can reach it. And so, in the, in the space of the moon, in orbit around the moon, we're going to tow an asteroid to that location, then bring our spaceships there. And you kind of want to know how to move asteroids around. That's a good thing to be able to do, because one day we're going to find one with our name on it, a big, bad asteroid. And I don't want to sit here and just say, run. I want to be able to deflect it. As the asteroids get, lar get larger and larger, we will not be able to move them in that way. We have to be more creative. And on paper, we have ideas about how to deflect asteroids with rockets with a nuclear blast. There are a lot of inventive ways to deflect asteroids, and they're still being sort of hashed out at scientific conferences. My favorite is the gravitational tractor beam. That's where you take, a, take an asteroid, I'm the asteroid, right? And you get a spaceship. What's a good spaceship? Here is a spaceship. And it comes up to me, and then you park it there. This is our spaceship, and it's tiny compared with the big bad asteroid. You park it there, and they'll want to move towards one another because they'll feel each other's gravity. But you don't let that happen. You fire retro rockets. And the act of doing that slowly tugs the asteroid out of its harmful path towards Earth. That's the kinder, gentler way. Yeah, we got people who want to just blow the sucker out of the sky. You know, because we got nukes still in silos from the Cold War, right? And why not put them to good use? But I, I've always worried in America we're really good at blowing stuff up. We're just less good at knowing where the pieces will fall. So if there's an asteroid headed straight towards Earth and we blow it to smithereens, but all the smithereens still hit Earth, that's still a bad day on Earth. So I just like to deflect it. And that's a, the Obama plan is a, is, a, is a first step in that direction.